Hey folks, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, right little time video this morning for you. Um, we're going to be doing a little dabbler pattern. Um, ben at uh, Uphaven Fly Fishing has been sending me through a few of his new materials very kindly of him. And uh, this one particularly caught my eye this morning. And it's the uh, new Green Flash Dragonfly 10mm. And this to me just screamed a dabbler pattern. So we're going to whip one up for you nice and quickly here. Um, Hook and device size 10175 and the thread for this is a uh, UTC 70 in black. So let's just get that caught on and get started. Uh, folks, as always, if you enjoy these videos, please click like, click subscribe. Uh, any comments down in the comments box, any suggestions down in the comments box, please, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, as with any um, dabbler pattern, I'm going to add a little tail in here. I think it, I'm going to get masked by the uh, body material, but, you know, it's all part of the fly. So I'm just going to use, I've got a bit of... Uh, uh, piece of black hen here uh, hen hackle and I'm just going to take a reasonable pinch of that and um, pop that on as the tail as I said I don't think it makes a lot of difference but uh, it's how you tie the fly so we just yeah I want that to come over there and we'll just trim this up a little bit at this end okay and just catch that in lovely and work that down Gonna try and keep this comp legal so it goes inside the gauge. Okay, so it's uh, um, all comp legal. So this is the body material. This is um, Ben's 10 mil, um, the Uphaven uh, 10 mil green flash, green flash dragonfly. And she's got a lovely mix of olive and uh, metallic green in there. Um, really reflective, and I think it's going to lend itself to this pattern. I do like a. a, a for the for the UK rainbows for the, the the Midlands especially Midland reservoirs when I'm using dabblers I do like a dabbler with a little bit of flash in it you know UV or um, black and red the Dennis the Menace one um, or olive done well on the olive on the lakes Rutland's quite you know, done quite well on Rutland and olive dabblers over the years so I'm just gonna catch that in and work for it back up to the top again now and then start coming up in touching turns. Just taking your time to make sure everything's pulled backwards as it goes up the hook. Up the hook shank. That's lovely. And it forms a nice body and it's got it's got quite a bit of bulk to it, but it's it's actually um yeah, it's actually quite loose, so it's not gonna mask the hook and it's not gonna overweight the fly. It's the beauty of using straggle. Um the the effect is there and it's got a lot of movement to it as well. This will have a lot of reflection in the water, a lot of movement in the water. So that's lovely. And I wanna leave a bit of room up the top here because I've got a you know, get that over wing in and etc. etc. So I'm going to leave myself plenty of room up here. I'm just going to catch that in, and then just tease everything backwards a little bit, and finish there. That's lovely. Make it out. Yeah, nice that you can see how that's got that lovely reflection and sparkle, and it's going to I'm going to catch the eye of a rainbow, no trouble at all. That one. Right. So I'm going to put a little bit of a throat in here. And again, I'm going to opt for using um, my uh, black hen again. Um, we're going to take a little pinch of that black hen and then work that in. You can use your uh, bronze mallard. It's up to you. I want to keep the keep the mallard a little bit sparse on this. I don't like to overdress these too much. Again, just my preference, so it's up to you. But uh, I want that hen to come down to about the, the bend of the hook there. Just offer that up and give it a couple of turns to lock it in. Lovely, and then just trim this waist off. As close to the eyes you can get. And then we just wrap that down just to tidy everything up. Away from the eye. Okay. And this is the point where we're going to come in with a wing, and, and you know, this is a dabbler pattern, so bronze mallard for your wing. Um, and uh, you take yourself a nice bit of bronze mallard. And again, you can dress this as, as heavily or as, as, as lightly as you like. And I'm not going to overdo it again with the wing. Just going to select a nice pinch from here. Um, something like that's going to do me. You want a bit with the bronze, obviously, with the bronze tips on it. Um, and make sure they're all lined up so they're all in the same sort of length. And then just going to trim that off. What we want to do with this is try to get a little bit of a, a curve in it. All right, so you hold it together like that. Make sure the tips are all lined up together like that. And then try to just 
just get a little bit you can see that little bit of a curve there offer it up to the hook so it's over the top of the fly over the top of the wing and I want that to be just about just just a tiny bit longer than the the length of the um, straggle and that's going to do me so I'm going to pop that down and then get a wrap over the top of it a couple of wraps over it yeah that's nice and as you can just splay it out slightly before you before you finish that off before you really go mad and lock that down if you want to you can just splay it out ever so slightly just to give you a little bit more coverage give you this sort of cloaking effect and then lock it down with a couple of three or four turns trim this waste off and I've got about a couple of cheeks on this as well just for a bit of an added oomph added flash that looks quite nice so we're gonna take a, a sunburst goose bite up and I'll take a couple of bites cut a couple of bites out Okay, just trim them slightly so it gets a slightly thin parts there, and then one on either side. Same on your side. Do like these dabblers, um, great in a big wave, especially on a cloudy day. Um, pulled on a anything from a fast glass up to a floater, really. I mean, they work on a three and on all sorts. They are a little lure after all, but I particularly like fishing these high up. Um, fish love to chase. They really slam them. They're quite effective twiddled as well on a team of flies. So two of these and a booby on the point on a, so a tip line and a 12 foot slow tip or something. They can be pretty good. Um, sort of lends itself to when the, uh, the small pin fry are about a little bit. Um, also only be caddis things like anything that anything of the fish chase near the surface so i'm happy with that i'm just going to finish that now so that would finish and then we're going to trim those bites down it's nice and you can see that how effective that uh, this flash is it's really going to move and pulse in the water so let's just trim these bites down You can do this with all that bite stuff to you, but I think they just add a little bit extra oomph to the pattern. Come on. Same with this side. Just being careful not to trim off your, uh, your mallard, which is the problem I had there. Right, that's lovely. Let's just put that in there. That's nice. You can see that's catching the light as that's moving. Gonna put a little dab of varnish on there and that'll be ready to fish. Definitely worth having a few of these in your box. I mean it's always worth having a few olive dabblers in the box and I think this material is gonna work very nicely. This is again this is the dragonfly fritz from up even. And all that. It's going to work absolutely lovely for a pattern like this. So I'll tie a few up, give them a go. Let me know how you get on. Always keen to know how you get on with these patterns and whether they're working for you as well. But uh, there we go. That's the uh, the Green Flash Dragonfly Dabbler. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, folks. And uh, thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.